हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल दिस इज अ रूटीन फेक्यूमर्सिफिकेशन कैटेक सर्जरी बीन परफॉर्म यूजिंग अपासोबीज फेक्यूमर्सिफिकेशन सिस्टम प्रो ऑर्बिट बाय दिस टाइम वन साइड पुट हैज बीन मेड एंड आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ मेन 2.8 फेक्यूमर्सिफिकेशन मेन पोर्ट यूजिंग अ 2.8 कैरेटोम ब्लेड a small flap has been raised using a 26 gauge bent needle acetone and now i'm going to use a micro axis forceps to create a 5 to 5.5 mm mic uh, capsule rexus using a micro capsule axis forceps I feel the rex is the most important part of the phago emulsification surgery and we have to get it pretty right so I do it really slow using a micro rex forceps and multiple grafts 3 and 4 I'm going to have a decent size capsule rex about 5 to 5.5 mm in size just in a moment we're going to have a very decent capsule axis as demonstrated We have now we have a very uh, centered 5.5 mm capsule axis. Uh, Hyoid dissection, cortical cleavage is been done. The nucleus is tapped and rotated. Now is the time to introduce the phaco handpiece. Here I am using the, this is one of the very few cases which I have done using. The upper arm is Galaxy's Pro Orbit Faco Emulsification System. I'm going really slow. I'm going to demonstrate the classical stop and chop Faco emulsification technique. Small thin trench is being made with vacuum of about 85. Flow rate twenty and bottle light about one hundred and ten. Now, after reaching sufficient depth, the nucleus has been rotated, is been split into two halves. The two hemi two hemi nuclei are being made. Now is the time to chop the nucleus. The vacuum is now about three hundred. the phaco is been burst into the nucleus and the nu- hemi nuclei has been separated into two nucleus pieces it's been rotated now using bimanual technique both the uh, sinski hook as well as the phaco hand piece the phaco is now been burst into the other hemi nuclei and using a direct chop technique one more hemi nuclei is been created the phaco power has been used moderately not very high and the separated fragmented nucleus is been removed using moderate fa- uh, phaco and power settings the phaco machine dynamics are really very good the chamber stability is excellent so i'm going to remove the one small hemi nucleus 
the feco power here is about 50 aspiration fluoride flow rate is about 35 vacuum mean used is about 330 and the chamber stability is very good then the first hemineuclear is been removed the second hemineuclear is now the feco is now burst it into the hemineuclear and the hemineuclear has been is been split into two pieces slowly and steadily the nucleus has been emulsified using moderate feco power and settings there is no surge the chamber is rock hard i'm not using very high feco power or vacuum the nuclear pieces are now been emulsified using the vacuum settings as said So now I am going to ins uh, install some viscoelastic to protect the cornel endothelium and just to remove the uh, final nuclear pieces from the eye. Final nuclear pieces are are just going to be emulsified using vacuum about ten and thirty and. Aspiration flow rate about 35. Bottle height is about 110. Slowly and surely, all the nuclear pieces are being removed from the eye. Here I am remo removing some of the cortex uh, from the capsular bag. using uh, simco can can allow 23 gauge by the time my coaxial ia hand piece is ready As far as the machine is concerned the cutting ability of the machine is good the chamber stability of the machine is is very good there is no surge which i encountered in any of the cases which i did with this system and by and large the machine performance is good and uh, i am really happy for what i have been using for some time so coming back to the case uh, i am not very used to using simco so it takes me some time to remove the cortical matter using simco cannula because normally i don't use simco very often in any of my cases and usually when we use simco there is a lot of chamber shallowing and one has to go really slow when the simco goes through the main incision so now the coaxial hand piece is ready so i'm just going to quickly remove whatever the cortex is left in the capsular bag here the vacuum mean used is about 350 respiration rate is about 40 and the bottle height is about 100 and we can see there is a very good chamber stability and some small air bubbles now towards the end of removing the cortex some sub incision cortex is left well i prefer uh, removing the sub incision cortex first but somehow in this case it didn't happen because i feel sub incision cortex is the most difficult part to remove the cortex is engaged the feco uh, sorry the ia hand piece is turned and removed so after filling the bag with with viscoelastic here i am implanting a, 
सिंगल पीस हाइड्रोफिलिक इंट्राओकुलर लेंस लेंस गोज द लीडिंग हैपिक गोज इन टू द कैप्सुलर बैग एंड इन अ मोमेंट द ट्रेलिंग हैप्टिक इज ऑल्सो एडजस्टेड इन द कैप्सुलर बैग लेंस इज वेल सेंटर्ड एंड नाउ एम गोइंग टू रिमूव द विस्को इलास्टिक before that i'm just checking whether the lens is in the capsule bag or not here i'm using a vacuum of about uh, 450 the flow rate is 45 and this is a edited video and all of the viscous elastic was removed side ports are hydrated main port hydrated that's it the case is done thank you so much hope you like the video please do share like and subscribe my channel keep following for new updates every day and thank you so much have a nice day